D block. D blocks boxing. The fight ain't start yet. I know, I know, I gotta wake up. <laughs> the fight ain't start yet. I'm making my last run of rounds. Amanda Serrano versus Katie Taylor. Hey, the books turn. When I when I looked at Vegas, the books turn. They got Amanda Serrano winning. I think Katie Taylor prevails. I think Katie Taylor stays undefeated. Um, as long as she can outbox. Remember, Amanda Serrano has already lost. Yes, Katie Taylor does have many knockouts, but the game is not knockouts. The game is exactly what Katie Taylor does, which is hit and not get hit. Stick and move. Float like a butterfly. Sting like a bee. Gotta love Katie Taylor, man. Not Hey, made the best woman win, you know? That's how it always is in this sport. But as far as who I believe is going to win, I got Katie Taylor winning by unanimous decision, majority decision, whatever you want to say. You could say split decision because she could take a punch too. Don't act like Katie Taylor can't take a punch. And I could see Amanda Serrano getting tired early trying to knock off Katie Taylor's head. And Katie's built for these long rounds. So we're going to find out exactly what happens maybe there's a new wolf in town you know amanda what's up new york stand the fuck up man i definitely see amanda serrano knocking out katie taylor i could see it but as far as what i think is gonna happen i got katie taylor winning i'm more of a slickster when it comes to this boxer puncher or knockouts i i i fucks with the the slicksters you know I fucks with the Muhammad Ali's, the Mayweather's, the Roy Joneses of the world, where a lot of people like, you know, the Keith Thurman's. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with the, the boxer punchers or the Tysons of the world going straight for knockouts, but the, the sport is not knockouts. You know, if it was the most knockouts, then shit, Wilder might be the fucking king. But, um... I can't wait for this fight. It's a great fight. We're going to have both fights on, both TVs. I'll show you the fight in between rounds. So we'll go from there. Let's move on to Shakur Stevenson versus Oscar Valdez. Man, this is a great fight. Great fight right here, man. We've been waiting for a unified champion for a long time now in this division. So I definitely can see... Oscar Valdez fighting for his life, you know, catching Shakur. Because when I saw the weigh-in, it looked like Oscar was bigger than Shakur, right? He's more powerful than Shakur. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if Shakur meets his match, you know, if Shakur ends up overlooking his opponent which he shouldn't do which great fighters don't do so i wouldn't i wouldn't expect that to happen but can i see it happening hell yeah um as far as what needs to be accomplished in this fight as far as all right i already won i don't want shakur stevenson believing that shit go in there stick behind your jab set up your punches that way like you normally do and you can win this fight to the point where if you want to try to prove something, <clears throat> yeah, man, I would put the money. I want to put the money on um, on Shakur knocking out. I think he stops him. I think he stops him, whether the ref jumps in or he knocks him out. Remember, Oscar has already been on his ass a couple times. Um, Shakur's never been knocked down. Shakur's defense is also better than Oscar's. But um, power... I might have to go to Oscar, but being smart, slick, getting hit and not getting hit, defense, it all lands on Shakur. And it's weird how Mayweather didn't see this when having a chance to recruit Shakur before he became who he is. He could have definitely polished it. And now I don't think he'll ever get Shakur underneath his wing because, you know, what happened at the Olympics? Go back and do your research. I ain't got time to explain it, though. Let me run up in here, grab this, you know, and then go get that, you know. <laughs>
And then we off to the fight, man. I'll show you in between rounds. D-block. And I'm out this bitch.